KTN News, Nairobi. A 2023 KCPE candidate has now resorted to selling fried potatoes in Voy after her dream of fathering her studies collapsed. 15-year-old Florence Munda received her calling letter to join Precious Girls Voy, but that did not materialize due to a lack of school fees. KTN's Hezron Kimari reports from Kariakor village in Voy. This is Florence Munda's home in Kariakor village in Voi, Taitaveta County. Four months after her classmate joined Form 1, Florence is still at home. This is due to lack of school fees to join Precious Girls Voi. Florence, who scored 278 marks in last year's KCP exams at Voi Primary School, now selling fried potatoes in Voi, hoping that the proceeds from the venture will help her secure a place in secondary school. Coming from a family grappling with object poverty, her dream father fades away given that she has an elder sister in Form 3. The family is determined to see Oripa Wuganga, a Form 3 student at Precious Girls in Voi, completes her studies first before throwing their weight behind Florence. <laughs> The conditions at home have pushed Florence and her sister into selling fried potatoes alongside their sickly mother to raise school fees lest their dreams are shattered. Their father is jobless after his tuk-tuk broke down two years ago. Sababu nilikuwa mgonjwa, lakini huu mtoto ndi ilikuwa na ngangana, kusaidia na ngangana na kupeka viyazo, wakati nilikuwa nimeishikuwa na homa sana. Maisha ndiyo hayo, ujua sayi maisha vile imekuwa ni hand to mouth. Sasa, nikajaribu, tukajaza form za basari, tumejaza basari na paka sayi azja, atuja faulu. With three weeks to reopening of schools, the family faces a race against time to raise money to send Florence to Form 1, as well as clear her sister's that 5,000 fee balance. This from their fried potatoes business looks like an unrealistic dream, and their hope now lies in the hands of well-wishers. Hezron Kimari, KTN News, Kariako, Village, Voi. Members of Parliament are pushing for digitization of 